Hi there, Doctor. Delighted to meet you. I'm Ron the sidekick, and this is Jason, the chosen one. You'll be liaising primarily with him. Liaising? Get out of my way. I've got a monster to kill. Uh, that's what we're here for. You see, by comparing our current circumstance against tabulated matrix of B-movie conventions, I come to the conclusion that Jason here is the man destined to kill the Megaspoticon. It's called a Megastrotodon. Uh, whatever. Please give Jason the gun. Oh dear, must be immune. Must be a mistake in the genetic signature. It just killed the nice scientist, ma'am. Why did it just kill the nice scientist, man? Someone always has to die to prove the point. What point? The monster is a serious threat. As if we didn't already know that. Come on, we need to find another plan. Okay, Jason. Talk to me. Tell me what's been going on in your life. I was attacked by... No, you dimwit. Before the monster came. Hmm. Well, I was about to put the finishing touches on the deal of my life. And... But that's perfect! That's one of the oldest cliches. In the movie, when the businessman character is about to make the deal of his life, then he must choose between the deal and something else at the end of the film, which always takes a higher priority. I don't follow. I'm so sorry, my young Padawan, but uh, you'll never complete that deal. Well, you could, per se, but um, if you do, then the entire town would die shortly afterward. You must sacrifice the deal in order to defeat Megastropulodon. How? That, that's a good question. I'll, I'll get back to you on that one. Can we catch one of our road reporters? Sorry, Craig. Megastropula Don just squashed the last one with a bus. It's hopeless. We're doomed. We're all gonna die. No, we aren't. We're all gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, mate, give me that briefcase. We're all gonna die. Oh, for Pete's sake. <laughs> Oi! Oi! Give me that back! Oi! Give me that back! Don't you get it? No, I don't get it. I haven't been getting it all day. This is it! The briefcase is the key! To what? Kaboom! No, that's got all the papers for my deal in it. I know. You can't kaboom my deal, darn it. Yes, we can. We just make this into a bomb, we throw it up for the beastie to eat, he swallows it, we ring the number, and boom! Barbecued Megastropulodon. That's got my mobile in it. I want my phone back. No, I need the phone as a detonation device. No, just give me. I'll sue you. <laughs> you know, for a chosen one, you're not getting into the spirit of things very well. Why does it have to be my briefcase and my phone? Did you hear that? If you don't shut up and get on with this, that's going to keep happening. Savvy? Now, if I just reverse the polarity of this wire... Do you know that that's cold tea, don't you? It's not going to explode. Shh! The audience doesn't know that, do they? As far as they're concerned, this is an explosive ingredient. Whatever. <laughs> Oi! You! You fogly Come here! 
few cheesy slow-mo effects. Oh. Oh. We're all gonna die! Uh, yeah, there's something I needed to say, actually. What? Lovable sidekicks are immortal, whereas chosen ones have a habit of dying. Well, that's just great! Thanks for nothing! I am so sorry, my young Padawan. Now, Jason, the hour is at hand. Fulfill your destiny. What? Uh, I kind of left my phone in your briefcase by accident. So we can't find my mobile? No. So we just turned my briefcase into a bomb and threw it at that thing and it was a complete waste of time? Yeah. Damn it! A sidekick is still immortal if the chosen one is trying to get rid of Mr. Kanishi will save us. Who what? After all, I'm so sorry, my master. <laughs> Fond farewells to you, too. I am going to get a drink. Bye. Uh -huh. 